If you've already watched my recent tips and tricks video for the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, you may already be familiar with Good Lock, but today we get to dive back into Good Lock because there is some new stuff and it is pretty darn cool. So the first thing you need to do, duh, is get Good Lock. So you're gonna go into the Galaxy Store right there, search for Good Lock and install it. Now, if your version of Good Lock does not look like this, you are running an older version and you may just be waiting for the new version, the new update to hit your device. I'm gonna put a couple of links in the description where you can sideload the version I am using in this video as well as sideloading the home up module because you may not see that home up module in here either, but you can sideload them both. Once you've got them both installed, we're actually not going to, in this instance, go through uh, good luck. We're actually going to go home and we're gonna long press on an empty space on our screen. We're gonna click on settings and all the way down here at the bottom, do you see where it says more customizations? That will take you into the newly updated and newly compatible with the S25 Ultra Home Up module. And we're gonna run through it and see all the crazy stuff that you can do. Decorate your home screen with various stickers. Feel free to move and decorate the items on your home screen. Let's click on try it. And we're gonna turn this on and let's see all of the different things we have. So let's start with home screen, and there are just a ton of things that you can do. You can already customize some of this stuff without this module, but with this, you're gonna be able to take it even further. So I've seen people complaining that you cannot quite get the icon size the way that you want it. Well, turn this on, and you can actually shrink them down even further. So some of you that have complained that the icons are too big, I don't have any icons on my home screen, you can see now they're smaller. Background blur control. Do you want to just straight up blur your background to what degree? You can do that. Kind of give it a nice soft look. I think that's pretty cool as well. Some wallpapers that's going to look pretty, pretty cool with. How about DIY home screen? Decorate your home screen by adding various stickers. You can use more stickers from the store. This is just a crazy thing that I don't really even know what to think about it, but we're going to turn it on really quickly. And let's go home. And if we press and hold again, now we have DIY home popping up here. And you can do tons of crazy things. Like for one thing, there's no more grid. You can just put widgets wherever you want them, icons wherever you want them. You can resize things to a very granular degree, even rotating them, which is a little bit crazy. How about stickers? I don't know why you would need to do this, but you have the ability to just Put stickers on your home screen and make them bigger or smaller or do whatever you want to do. There's actually a third party launcher that this kind of reminds me of where you can just do whatever you want to do. I don't remember what it's called. I'm sure someone in the uh, comments will probably tell me what I'm thinking of it. It reminds me of that. I'm going to turn this back off, but man, it is it's out there. You've got more control over your home screen grid. You can go even further than you typically can go. Your favorites down at the bottom, make that be a larger number or a smaller number. You can see there's tons of stuff for that. Ooh, how about pop-up folder? This is something that actually drives me crazy about the S25 Ultra is that your folders, that animation looks slow because I'm capturing this wirelessly. Don't panic. The folders take up the entire screen. The pop-up folder should address that. Let's turn that on and let's go back home. I like that better. That is an improvement. We will leave that one on. Task changer. This is one I want to get into as well. So by default, we have this tilt stack. As you can see, this is sort of what they introduced with uh, One UI 7, but you're not stuck with this if you don't like it. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not a huge fan of it. I actually like the grid style. I feel like I can see more things and get more done quickly that way. So we're going to be switching to that. But you also have, how about mini mode? What's that do? It brings it all down and makes it easier to actually reach with your hand. I'm gonna leave that turned off, but more customization there with the task changer. Gesture settings. And honestly, this one's kind of crazy. So home gesture animation tuning. Kind of hard for me to show you how all of this looks in this setup. So what I've done is I did a screen recording. We're going to kind of cut it together and I'll just kind of show you what each of these are going to look like. All right. So this first animation is set to classic and that is just what you're going to get straight out of the box. Maybe it's too fast. Maybe it's too slow. You can change it. Next up is elegance. And this is what that is going to look like. And to me, it looks very, very similar to classic 
And then here's elegance again. I don't see a big difference. Dynamic is definitely different. You're gonna see immediately that it is very, very fast. If you're looking for something that's gonna speed up your device and maybe you don't wanna go into developer options and just turn your animations to 0.5X, this is another way to go. That is very, very quick. The next one is called Sweet. It will melt away like cotton candy and it's definitely like a little bit slower than dynamic. Let's roll this back and watch one more time. A little bit slower than dynamic and it does maybe seem like it sort of fades out a little bit more slowly than the other ones do. One more time for Sweet. Yeah, I think it probably fades out a bit slower. And then you have this sort of manual tuning, fast or emotionally, doesn't really make a lot of sense. Keep in mind this app might have some sort of South Korean translations that don't make a ton of sense. I don't think this is because I side loaded it, but just be aware of that. So this is fast and it is very, very fast. And then coming over here to the other side and it is much more sort of slow and gradual. But the overarching point here is that you do have this kind of granular control with these animations. And then there's also advanced tuning. I'm not gonna dive into this super deeply, but you can see for yourself exactly what is going on. You can make this animation look exactly like you want, scaling the wallpaper, the duration, the blur, the icon. This is absolutely insane. I have never seen any OEM deliver this level of customization to something like an animation before. There's actually several things here that I think might be cool. Home gesture vibration. I like that. Give me the haptic bump when I go home. Cool. Allow bottom gestures in full screen mode. You're in full screen. You got to swipe up to get your gestures back, then swipe up again. Maybe you can just have that back. Bottom gestures sensitivity setting. Just tons, tons of options there. And now we also have edge panel to look at. So this will give you the option to just have more icons on your edge panel. This gives you the option to scroll through the recent apps. And then you also have show edge handle in immersive mode. So basically keeping that little handle there at all times. And lastly, we have share manager. Let's see what kind of customization we have here as well. Not a whole lot here, just the ability to share something called direct share in your sharing menu. The word share now no longer has any meaning to me at all. Enable quick share list in direct share and then add favorite direct share. So just a little bit of more customization there. And then if you want to back all this stuff up, you have it exactly how you like it. You don't want to lose it. You can back it up and then restore it later onto another device. But there you go, guys, something that I was actually kind of bummed out to see wasn't there at launch because I've always used, or at least for a long time, I have used the Home Up module to make a couple of changes like the folders and the recent screen. Now it's back, it's here, and not only are those things there, but the animation control is absolutely next level. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Again, do look for the links to be able to sideload these APKs if you are impatient as I was those links will be there. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.